Hi, it's Lindsay Diane from dianedecor.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about six ways to arrange a small bedroom with large furniture. The challenge of arranging a small bedroom with large furniture is something you're probably going to run into at some point in your life. It can happen when you inherit furniture or you downsize or a variety of other reasons, but it's a challenge that lots of people don't know how to approach. So in this video, I wanna share six tips for how to arrange a small bedroom with large furniture. Tip number one is to opt for a low profile bed frame. Stay away from the bulky frames like sleigh beds or those heavy wood four poster canopy beds and instead go for a plain metal frame with a headboard or just a low profile platform bed. This is really going to cut down on the amount of space that your bed is taking up. And it's also something that you can do without having to replace your mattress. Sometimes mattresses are more expensive than the actual bed frame. So it's important if you have a mattress that you love and that you invested in to try to keep it. And instead, think about switching out your actual bed frame to give you a few more inches of walking space in your small bedroom. Tip number two is to use open leg nightstands. It will really open up the space visually. If you don't have a need for the extra bedside storage, skip the nightstands that have one or two drawers in them and all these extra cubbies, and instead look for something that has a clean tabletop and like peg legs or something like that. Tip number three is also about nightstands, and that's to go for a half moon or a half round nightstand. Those are the ones that are kind of rounded on the outside Side, but sit flat and flush against the wall. They'll give you those few extra inches that you might need to move around on the side of your bed. Tip number three is to try to stick to three pieces of furniture max. This could be a bed and two nightstands, or a bed, a nightstand, and a desk, or even a bed, a bench, and a nightstand, or an accent chair, something like that. If you try to stuff too much furniture in a small space, you're, it's just not gonna work. So a good rule of thumb is to try to stick to three key pieces that you know you really need or are really going to use. Tip number five is to use wall-mounted shelves to hold some of your bedroom accessories. If you've opted for an open leg nightstand, you may be losing some of that storage space. So to gain it back, just mount some shelves on the wall. They'll hold some small set of books, a lamp, uh, alarm clock, charging station, things like that. And it will really give you the opportunity to open up some of the walking space on either side of your bed. Tip number six is to consider using off-center bed positioning. Now there are two ways that you can go about doing this. You can push a bed all the way against the wall. I don't recommend this for couples or if there are two people sharing the same bed because somebody is going to have to crawl over the other to get into the bed and that's just annoying. But if it's a single person in that room, it's perfectly fine to push a bed against a wall. We do it a lot with kids' bedrooms, dorm bedrooms, things like that. But if you're a couple that want to consider off-center bed positioning, that could work for you as well by just creating one larger aisle and one smaller aisle. So one side of the bed would be larger and that's where you would have an additional piece of furniture. Let's say it's a dresser or an accent chair and the other side would be skinnier. You may only have a nightstand on that side, but it's at least a walking path for the other person to be able to get around the bed and onto their side. By using the off-center bed positioning like this, you can better use the furniture that you need in the room. So if you have a desk or if you have a dresser, you can have that in the larger aisle and be able to pull out your drawers or pull out your chair without bumping into the bed. If you had your bed centered in the room, you might not have the space to do that. So it just maximizes the layout in your bedroom and it makes it work when you have larger furniture in a small room. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to visit me at dianedecor.com and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.